Good morning Aquarius. My name is Renee and welcome to my channel. This reading is for December 3rd through the 17th and I'm running late on my readings so I do apologize but I'm getting them out as fast as I can. Now Aquarius, if this reading resonates with you, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And make sure to take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for clarity. Okay, what's going on with Aquarius for December 3rd through the 17th? Now Aquarius, while I was meditating on your energy, I was seeing the Two of Wands. So I feel like you're currently waiting for something. I feel like you're currently waiting. You're in the need of making some choices. Now the Two of Wands can also mean that you are planning for some kind of travel. Hmm. But yeah, that's what I was feeling, the Two of Wands energy. See, we have Divine Matrix. Okay. So yeah, I feel like you may be very intuitive at the moment. I feel like you may be getting downloads about your situation. Great and full. So yeah, that's the, the Ace of Cups energy. So I feel like abundance is coming. I feel like this may be something to do with some kind of new beginning. This also may be love coming through for you. And you have in perfect harmony. Okay, so yeah, I feel like you're gaining a lot of balance. And it may be because you understand that there are things in your life that you need to release. I feel like if it's not working for you, you are very willing and capable of letting it go. Um, because you see and understand that it's not working. Let's see, what else do we have for Aquarius? December 3rd through the 17th. Let's get some angel cards. See what the angels have to say for December 3rd through the 17th for Aquarius. What do we have for Aquarius? See, we have Desiree. No conditions aren't favorable right now. Wait and look into other options. Ask the angels for help. Guide and comfort you. Now ask the angels to help, guide and comfort you. Yeah, so it's it's letting you know maybe surrender to to the divine. Um, if it's not coming now, I feel like it is coming. Whatever it is that you're working towards, and you also have. Archangel Uriel, your emotions are healing, which enables you to open to greater love. I will help you release anger and unforgiveness from your heart and mind. Yeah, so it could be that you've just gone through some kind of heartbreak, Aquarius. I want one more. Let's get one more. You have Adriana. I am leading you towards the answer to your prayers. Please listen and follow the steps. I am communicating through your tuition, thoughts, and your dreams. Yes, definitely, Capricorn. Pay attention 
to your thoughts, your dreams, and of course, listen to your intuition. Your intuition will guide you in the right direction nine times out of ten. At the bottom you have Azor. Your desired outcome will occur in the very near future. Have patience, faith, and don't try to force it to happen. Yeah, so like I said, I feel like, you know, it, it might be not coming through at the moment, but it's coming. Whatever it is that you're working on, Aquarius, I can feel that it's coming. Let's take a look at Moonology. Let's get some Moonology cards. And then we'll, we'll follow that with the Tarot. What do we have for Aquarius? December 3rd through the 17th. We have emotions are running high. Super moon. Yeah, so I feel like whatever it is that you're working on, I feel like maybe it's causing you some anxiety. Maybe because it's not following through as fast as you wish it would. Um, but like I said, it's coming. It's coming, Aquarius. So whatever it is that you're working on, just have patience. Follow your intuition and, of course, surrender to spirit. Surrender to the universe for whatever answers need to be provided for you. See, we have nothing will come of the situation. Void of course moon. Okay. One more. Maybe you went through something, Aquarius. And it says, work through your fears. New moon in Scorpio. Yeah, so definitely, you, you may want to tackle your fears head on, Scorpio. Uh, excuse me. I was reading that card and got lost in my thought. Um, Aquarius. At the bottom you have, your dreams need a practical plan. Full moon in Taurus. So, Aquarius. Yeah, it could be that you need a little bit more follow through as far as whatever it is that you're working on. Now, this could deal with love, work, um, or just your life in general. This is a general reading. So, apply it where it belongs. But yeah, your plan needs to be worked out a little bit further. Whatever it is that you're working on. Let's get some cards for Aquarius. December 3rd through the 17th. What do we have for Aquarius? Spirit, guides, and angels. Okay, we have the Two of Pentacles. Yeah, I think that you need to set your priorities. We have the King of Wands. We have the Knight of Wands. We have the Four of Wands. Lots of wands in this reading so far. We have temperance as your overall energy. We have the justice. We have the six of wands. A lot of fire coming through here. We have the Three of Swords. And we have the Eight of Swords. Okay. At the bottom of the deck, we have Lovers. So, yeah, this is Gemini energy. But uh, I do feel like this is a very good reading for love. Now, I do have the Three of Swords here, so I do feel like there may be some disappointment and there may be you 
kind of isolating yourself because of this disappointment. But other than that, I feel like it's a very good reading. And if you are interested in love, Aquarius, I feel like new love is coming through. This may be a soulmate situation for you. Now here at the beginning, we have the Two of Pentacles. So I feel like there are definitely choices that you need to make. Uh, you need to find some balance in your situation. Maybe set your priorities. Um, I really feel that by doing this, it's going to really help you through your situation. But I feel like you have more than two options in your situation, whatever this is. I feel like there are more than two. There's more than two options. Now with this King of Wands and this Knight of Wands, I really feel like you are building up your courage to make your moves. I feel like you're very bold right now. You're trying to find your power. Now, if this is love, this could be a very fiery start uh, that kind of comes in very quickly. This may be a very, a person who's a very charming, a fast talker, very attractive. But I feel like they're, they're moving pretty fast. I feel like they may need to slow down a bit. I feel like they're very free-spirited. Hmm. Now you have the Four of Wands up here with the Temperance card. So I'm, you know what, Aquarius, what I'm feeling like is If this is a love situation, I feel like it is going to start at like a get together. This may be a friend of a friend. I'm, for some reason, I'm feeling like this is a friend of a friend. But I feel like this is going to bring you a lot of renewal. This is, you know, something that, that's going to something that's going to bring you a lot of happiness something that brings you balance I feel like this is kind of if this is love I feel like this is kind of the yin to your yang if that makes sense but those are the words that I want to say but I, I do feel like this is a situation that has brought a lot of healing for you. If this isn't love, this is you healing from a love situation. You also have this justice card. So I'm really feeling like with this justice, I'm feeling like you're looking for a win. I, what I feel like saying, Aquarius, is that you're in it to win it. <laughs> Does that make sense? Maybe that's something that you say all the time. Or maybe that's something that you've heard said. But I feel like you're in it to win it. You're in it to really... Get the desired effect that you want. This could also be your karma. All the work that you've done in the past, all the good deeds, all the 
all the things that you've done, all the things that you gave. I feel like this could be your reward. This is your good karma coming back. Because you do have the Six of Swords up here. So I do feel like you have victory in whatever the situation is. I feel like you have a lot of success. This is a lot of success coming through. And if you're not feeling that now, I feel like you will very soon. But I feel like all eyes are on you, Aquarius. I feel like everyone's looking at you. Everyone wants to be you at the moment. Everyone wants to receive the reward that you're receiving. Very interesting. Now, I don't feel like this is really hard heartbreak. And I don't feel like it's really an end. What I feel like this Three of Swords is, is I feel like this is something that has really disappointed you. This is something that... You may have lost. But I feel like it's kind of, how can I say? I feel like with the Eight of Swords energy, I feel like this is you kind of isolating yourself because of this situation. I feel like this disappointment kind of drew you back within yourself a bit. I feel like you really didn't want to talk about it. You really didn't want to pursue this again, whatever this is. But I feel like, you know, um, you're isolating yourself. You're kind of withdrawing. Let's, let's get a little clarity from these cards. Let's see. Aquarius. Clarity for Aquarius. Spirit guides and angels. Give us some clarity for these cards, please. What is this? Two of Pentacles. What is this energy? Okay, with the Two of Pentacles, you have the Five of Cups in reverse. So yeah, I feel like this is something, These you're reluctant to make these choices that you need to make. Because you feel like you're going to lose something in the process. I feel like you're reluctant to make these choices. But these choices need to be made in order for you to gain the success that you want to gain. Maybe someone's proposed to you and you're kind of really thinking about if you should, should accept this. Now, this may not be for all, but this is for somebody. What is this Five of Wands? Excuse me, what is this King of Wands? The King of Wands again. So, yeah, definitely, definitely... definitely a person if this isn't your person or the person that you're going to meet or be with this is your energy the king of wands on the king of wands now look at this wow this may be your energy Aquarius or this may be someone that you're dealing with or someone you will deal with. What is this Knight of Wands, please? The Seven of Pentacles. So yeah, with the Seven of Pentacles, I feel like 
you know, something wants to come in really fast, but you have patience to wait. I feel like you are not trying to rush this situation. You want to wait to see what happens. You want to give it a little bit of time to kind of mature and kind of grow on you without before you make a decision. What is this Four of Wands spirit? Give me a card for the Four of Wands, please. The Star. Yeah, you know, with the Four of Wands, this may be you going to get-togethers, reunions. This may be you going to parties. But I feel like, Aquarius, that by you doing this, I feel like it's actually giving you a lot of hope in your situation. I feel like it's, it's like giving you some kind of renewal. Um, it's helping you gain your balance, your healing. I feel like this is something that you really needed at the moment. Something that uplifted you. This could be exactly what you needed to get your mind off of other things. What is this temperance card? Give me a card for temperance. The Wheel of Fortune. Definitely. So you're definitely moving into something different. This is definitely moving you into a different direction. This could really be your luck changing. I feel like... I feel like in this situation you've had a lot of patience and I feel like you waited on the answers that you needed to receive and I feel like it's moving you into a different space. What's this justice card? <laughs> the sun. Okay. Yeah, so whatever this is, this, now with the Justice card, I was feeling like you were in it to win it. And with the Sun card on top of that, I feel like you're definitely gaining the success. You're definitely winning, Aquarius. You're definitely winning. Look at all these major arcanas. You have the star, the will of fortune. You have the will of fortune on top of temperance. You have the sun on top of justice. You have two king of wands. If this is love, this is something you've truly been waiting for. If this is another situation, this is actually very good. What is the Six of Wands, please? The Knight of Cups. Yeah, so I definitely feel like, you know what? I feel like this is, if this is love, I feel like, I feel like maybe you didn't accept the first offer because you were really trying to make it feel exactly right. You want it perfect. But, Aquarius, I don't feel like it's ever going to be perfect. And I feel like there's going to be a second offer. I feel like there's going to be a second offer. Someone's going to come and propose again. Now, if this isn't love, if this is something else, then I, I feel like this is an offer being given to you. And I feel like this offer is going to promote 
your success. This offer is going to be very, very successful. It's on top of the Six of Wands. So whatever this offer is, whatever this action that's brought to you is going to be very, very important for you. With the Three of Swords, you have the Two of Swords. So I feel like you're blindly making decisions. Um, now, we said that this Three of Swords was a disappointment. And I don't want it to cloud your judgment in whatever decision that you need to make. Because I feel like this disappointment has led you to a crossroads. It's led you to a decision that you had to make. Maybe you have a decision between two options, but I feel like instead of being deadlocked, I feel like you need to take your blindfold off and make the decision with full knowledge of, of what could be. I mean, you're not going to really know the outcome of a situation until you really are in the situation. Um, and then you may not know the full outcome, but I feel like you need to weigh your options as far as this Two of Swords. I feel like maybe you should take time to compromise on this situation. What is this Eight of Swords? How do they get through this challenge? The Five of Pentacles. Hmm. You know what? I feel like with this Eight of Swords and this Five of Pentacles, let's see. You know what? I want another card for this. I want some more clarity on this. Eight of Swords, Five of Pentacles. Because I feel like you're isolating yourself, but I feel like you're doing that because you feel like you've been left behind in a way. I feel like you feel like you're at a loss. How can we get through this Eight of Swords, Five of Pentacles? The Queen of Pentacles. Okay, okay, I get it now. And you also have the Two of Pentacles on the bottom. Okay, so I feel like with this Eight of Swords, the Five of Pentacles, you're isolating yourself because of this disappointment, because you feel like you've left something behind. But I feel like maybe you need to pull together your resources, or you need to really rely on, rely on the answers that are, that are going to come to you. Because with this Two of Pentacles, you know, the Two of Pentacles can be choices. I feel like, you know, these are the options that you have in front of you. And I feel like the Queen of Pentacles, she's really looking the, at those options. She's really weighing her choices. But she's very resourceful. So she may, may have the answer to her options or she may have the ability to choose the best option um, that will basically help your situation and I feel like you have that within you Aquarius very interesting let's get some cards from the universe to end this reading to see what else spirit has to say what's in store for Aquarius December 3rd through the 17th what messages do we have for Aquarius okay I feel like this one wants to come through my energy creates my reality what I focus on is what I will manifest yeah so I feel like really understanding what it is that you want and really putting it specifically out there that you want this
it will actually be easier for you to manifest it. Okay, Aquarius, let's see what else we have for messages. Another card, please, for Aquarius. And I feel like this one wants to come. Hope is the conduit for miracles. Yeah, put your intentions out there. Put your specific intentions out there. And have hope and know that your miracle is on the way. Whatever it is that you're looking for is on the way. I am unapologetic about what I desire and trust that what I focus on will grow. Exactly. And I feel like you're focusing on your, your abundance, your wealth. At the bottom you have, I create mindful moments throughout the day, reminding myself that I am love and miracles are natural. Beautiful reading, Aquarius. Okay, that is your reading. If this reading resonated with you, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And make sure to take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity on your situation. Your other placements may give you more of an understanding of um, your readings. And now have a wonderful month, Aquarius. Many blessings to you. Love and light.